I travel a lot through Africa, India, and Asia, helping ministries and evangelism, and, and, I, and I saw a lot of things. Sometimes things that I couldn't, yes, I have to wipe my eyes to see that stuff was real. And, and God put me in front of many things that I never asked for it. I just, I was just being put in front of it. And either I could say it was just a dream or I was there. And then living in a life of a missionary, you don't have a lot of cash, really. And especially I was living in Singapore for seven years, the country is awesome, but my salary was once a month, and I have to divide that in four weeks, and do my tithing and my things and everything else, and by the end of the third week, I, I was zero. I don't know if you know what I mean, when you don't have nothing left. Anyhow, so I lived in Singapore for seven years, two years in Indonesia, I learned some Lango language and whatever, but at the end of the day, I even met the president of Indonesia, Mr. Jokowi. <laughs> that was another story. But um, I came to Australia and I landed in the airport at this four o'clock in the morning, and I'm looking at the skyline, and I'm looking at the city lights, 4 a.m., and I got, I think, about $3 in my pocket left. I paid for my flight and everything to get out of there and come back to Australia for a break. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm a man of faith. You have to understand this. I don't know how. And, and, and I'm thinking, God, I don't know how is it going to happen because I'm not going to get on my knees over here and start begging for people. Hey, excuse me, can you help us? I don't know. I don't know. I was just in a moment of desperation. When you're in a moment of desperation, you do anything. So I asked God, you have to make something happen. And all of a sudden, when I'm actually saying this, looking at the sky, and I turn around, I have my two bags when I arrive. And I look, I was gonna enter in the airport again, and I look at this, at the floor, and there was this crush piece of paper, green. When I was a young kid, between 13 and 20, I live in America, I live in Los Angeles. I know how American dollars look like, so I, Looking, is that real? Really? <laughs> and that probably is a dollar. I was like, well, whatever, I can, I don't know, maybe buy some chewing gum or something. Yeah? And I pick it up and I open it up and it was a hundred dollars bill. <laughs> so I was able to get out of the, <laughs> the airport and hire a, a, a hostel for two days. And the second day I got a job and I was just like flying. Right now, I, I, I work at the hospital in the Prince Alexandra, and, and then some people, they work in this place, and they take them a long time to get a permanent job. And, and I, I give because I don't know God. I give without thinking it twice. Before, if you don't give, I understand where you are. That it, it is very hard for you to, uh, even to give a dollar. But I tell you what, I don't want you to feel pressure. I don't want you to feel that you must give or less or well. No, 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 no. The Bible says that you must be a cheerful giver. Yeah. Make up your mind. Even before you step on the door, yeah, <laughs> done. You know? And the Lord will honor that. Yeah. He will honor that. He will honor. I tell you what, right now, my situation is. It's going from, I can say, no, from glory to glory. I don't know how you say that, but it's going phenomenal. I'm just going week by week, and it's just going to another level. Every week, every week, I am desperate, I'm thirsty, I am passionate about God. I mean, I'm, I'm passionate about telling people about Jesus every day. You don't have no idea how privileged it is to have a job talking to people about Jesus. It's in the tears. You know? But uh, I just wanted to let you know, if you can give financially, it's great. But also, if you cannot give for any reason, don't feel guilty about it. You can also, you have two hands, you have two feet, you have a voice. You can help in administration, you can help in the kitchen, you can help in the entrance. You can put your, your body to work. Just, just give. The Lord will honor that. The Lord says, 